Hello, everybody, and welcome to my webinar. Welcome to uh, an introduction to online marketing basics. Um, all right, people are already figuring out the chat box. Yep, go ahead and um, put your comments in your chat box, and we'll give a, a little bit of time for people to log on. And um, can everybody hear me? I always like to ask that because um, this webinar thing is still kind of new for me, and it's a little bit weird sitting here talking to myself in a camera and not being able to um, be able to hear and see everybody. So um, looks like oh, a lot of people are signing on. Anna Marie, hi. TJ, hi. All right, June. All right, that's great. Where are you guys uh, all calling in from? If you can uh, write that in the in the chat box and um, we'll get a little conversation going. I want you to, uh, guys to make sure you do not be shy. All right, Judith from Wellington. How's the weather down in Wellington? Uh, we love Wellington. We've been down there several, um, several. Anna Marie and Marie is in Pennsylvania. We've been down to Wellington at the, the at WEF for several years, several springs. This year we're staying home and uh, it's, it's a wet, cold, rainy North Carolina day. So um, really excited to be able to have everybody joining on. And um, for me, talking about marketing really is, is uh, one of my favorite things. And um, I've been in sales and marketing now for 37 years. I know I started really young. I don't look that old. But um, for me, uh, I, I really enjoy marketing and I'm kind of a a marketing geek and uh, just love getting into the whole uh, technical thing and, uh, and creating creating uh, campaigns and seeing how they do and tweaking them and all that and um, setting up systems. But I, I have come to realize that m there's a lot of people that are not, especially practitioners. And um, I went from the corporate sales world in uh, selling for IBM and Xerox to uh, my wife and daughter and I, we set up our own PEMF therapy business and uh, became a practitioner, um, really healing horses, people, and pets. I don't know if you guys are, I know we've we've got some friends out that are out there, but I think some of you guys don't know me, so I'll just give you a little bit of a brief introduction. Hello, Veronica from California. All right, she knows me. Um, but um, we set up uh, our PMF therapy business and really, really loved doing that. And um, but it kind of, as things go, I got sucked back into the sales route and started selling the machines that we did the therapy with. And uh, after a while, I really decided that I just uh, selling more machines. I've sold maybe over 150 million dollars worth of products and services over my career in everything from real estate, uh, commercial real estate to uh, IBM copiers. And uh, what I really found out is, is that we I really loved helping uh, the practitioners start their new businesses. And um, so we we uh, said goodbye to selling machines and we decided we were going to do training and support. And um, and I say we, you know, right now it's just me in front of this camera, but um, really I have uh, my wife Sherry and my daughter Samantha, and uh, and even my son Quinn has gotten involved. He's just graduating from college from App State, and uh, actually after this webinar, we're getting in the car and driving him out to Colorado. He's got a uh, commercial photography gig with Breckenridge, and uh, he's going off on his own. Although um, he would be great to help us out with uh, the uh, support side of things. But um, all right, there's Dee Becker. She's saying PMF rocks. It does. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of my background is, is the sales, the sales and the marketing. And um, we just blew the cover off of uh, PMF and sold more systems than anybody else has ever sold. And, and, uh, and we did it by really setting up a, a great um, online marketing program. And um, when we were looking to get out of that, uh, one of my mentors, who, who's uh, kind of a marketing, you know, legend, um, um, 
said, hey, you should do, you should tell people how you, you market your PMF stuff. Um, so we decided that's a great idea. And um, we started doing that. And uh, so this is really the result of that. And um, just so I'm really excited to be able to hear be here and talk marketing, but I also realize that maybe you feel very challenged when it comes to technology and and marketing. So um, we found that that really is the biggest thing that I offer people is to be able to have you know someone just to kind of walk you through. And um, so one of the things that I just uh, it, it, to help you get through the uh, the feelings of, of being in a um, in a topic and uh, doing uh, activities that are out of your comfort zone, I just tell you a little bit of little story about uh, Sherry and I. We're we're hikers and uh, we love to hike. And this fall, for my 60th birthday, we decided we want to do something really wild. And so we thought about um, going hiking in the, in the Alps in Europe. And um, we found this really awesome um, trek that's 105 miles. Now, we've never done anything like this before. I mean, maybe we go out for an afternoon and hike in, in the mountains here in North Carolina. But so, so anyway, we decided we were going to hike the Tour de Mont Blanc. It's 105 miles and we did it over, I don't know, was it 12 days? And um, we go from like in to in and it's up in the mountains and in Europe and you go from start in France and you go to Italy and hike over to Switzerland and then back into France. And this is like totally out of our comfort zone. And so the, and well, physically and uh, mentally too, because, you know, it's in a strange country and all the different things. So what we found was the best way to cope with being doing something out of your comfort zone. First off, doing something out of your comfort zone is very good. It's really the only way that you can grow. And if you have a practice or a small business and you're not online and you're, you don't have things like a list and automated emails, um, you're you're really operating at a way less efficiency and, and productivity than you could be. Um, so, um, you know, we're here to help you, you know, get into the online marketing thing. But the way that you do it is, number one, take it step by step. We found hiking up these gigantic mountains that, I mean, when you look back and go, oh, my God, I can't believe we hiked up that thing and up up the mountain, over the mountain and then down the mountain into the next village. And uh, just, but we found that if we did it one step at a time, that we really stayed in the present moment and that we did it one step at a time, that it made it so much easier and in fact, we even got to the point where at the end of the day, we would be hiking down into the village. And as soon as we'd like get to the village where our feet would hit the pavement, we'd be like, oh, my God, where's that hotel? I can't wait to get to that hotel. And as soon as we started focusing on the end and being in our hotel and, and um, you got instantly tired. And uh, about the third day, we started realizing this. It was like, you know, we're doing fine and stuff until we get almost to the end. And then we're like exhausted. And so we started saying, you know, no, we're going to stay in the moment all the way through. And then once we made that switch, it was amazing how much easier things got. So if you're if marketing and technology gets you out of your comfort zone, first off, that's a good thing. But secondly, the way that you deal with that is just just by thinking one step at a time. And that's what all of our courses are. We take them one step at a time. And this this uh, webinar is really introduces the, the online marketing, the basics of online marketing in five steps. And I give you three key things to think about. And, and the things to think about really, the, the keys are, are really more of a framework to try to get you thinking differently about your business and get you thinking first off in a more strategic way and thinking about about your goals and and um, and then setting up processes 
so that you um, are building a process that builds your business, not doing things from, you know, from start every day, brand new, you know, redoing everything, campaigns, activity, activities, just doing the same thing over and over again. So um, those are the, the way that we have set up this, um, this webinar. And um, I got a, um, I got a little cheat sheet here. So, um, but I've got, I've also got a presentation for you and um, we're gonna go into kind of a slideshow. And um, so um, if you've got questions, just go ahead and put them in the chat box. We'll try to get to them. There's a, a lot of people on right now and uh, actually way more than I have, um, I'm used to, but um, we will try to get to everybody. If we don't, we will definitely um, give you uh, the answers and, and email them to you. Um, <laughs> cheat sheets are good. Yay, cheat sheets. Um, all right, so we're going to get this thing started and um, want you guys to, um, um, this is about a 30 minutes, a 30 minute presentation. So um, I'm here. We'll be a answering questions when we come back. Um, stay to the end because we've got a, a nice little uh, um, surprise for you. Uh, at the end, and I will come back and answer any questions that you guys have um, on on marketing, and um, be happy to stay as long as you guys want. So, um. welcome to the online marketing basics. This is an introduction to the basics of marketing your practice online. You know, the options for marketing your practice online are virtually limitless. If you listen to the experts, you'll have people telling you that you should be doing everything under the sun, from blogs, AdWords, Facebook posts or ads, tweeting and Instagram, SEO, how about YouTube and creating a viral video? Or you could write a book or an ebook. Do you self-publish or do you get an editor? And when you factor in the marketing decisions, what's your headline and what's your ad copy? What kind of image do you use? And how much should you be spending? And what are the placements? Really, the decisions are endless. Isn't it any wonder people get so confused about marketing? So what's a practitioner to do, especially since you have a business to run and clients to meet with? And isn't that why you're working? Not to do all this marketing. So let me ask you, how many consider yourselves to be technology challenged? If you aren't, type yes in the chat box now. So how do you know what to do and what not to do, especially if you're tech challenged? Well, I'm here to try to stop the confusion and give you some tried and true keys that will help you attract more clients in a predictable and automatic way. So you can spend the majority of your time doing what you do best. If that sounds good to you, give me a yes in the chat box. And if it doesn't, well, I think you're in the wrong webinar. So in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to give you a high-level overview of the online marketing basics. So you can have a framework to decide what to do and what not to do, or what to stop doing. This is something that you can implement today, and probably the most important thing is the list of things you can stop doing. My goal is to help you simplify your marketing so you can focus your attention on the things that are working and stop doing the things that are not. I know that's a simple approach and definitely not what everyone else is telling you, but how does that sound? The first thing to consider is that marketing is strategic. Most practitioners think about marketing activities oh, I should do this, or I should do that, and I hope clients are going to show up. I call this hope marketing. If you get this one thing from today right, it will be worth your time, and you'll be way ahead of most of the marketing experts. Instead of marketing and campaigns and marketing activities, you should build a system that works even when you're not. So you build a system once and it keeps working, even when you're sleeping or meeting with clients or on vacation. 
I can tell you it's a beautiful thing when you have clients flowing in when you're on vacation. And if you do this one thing, you will start building a predictable, consistent business and not starting over each day and just hoping things are going to get better. So to do this, there are some keys to marketing that I want you to consider as a framework to base all your marketing decisions against. The first one is that your marketing strategy should have a definite goal. Most practitioner goals are fairly straightforward. You want more clients. So is there anyone out there that does not want more clients? So the first step to your marketing strategy is to decide what your marketing goal is and then write it down. In marketing and in business, being targeted or focused on a narrowly defined goal is much more likely to be successful. If your primary goal is to attract more clients, there are many different intentions a prospect has when they are on the path to purchase. To help you focus on a more specific goal, here are three of the most common stages prospects go through when they're on the path to purchase. The first one is to build awareness about you and your service to new prospects so they consider you. The second one is to engage prospects that are already aware of you so they choose you when they're ready. And the third one is to build relationships with existing clients. Can you see that each one of those stages, the prospect has different intentions and you need to have a different conversation with them? So here's another key, and that's that every marketing activity should have a standardized process and be measurable. In order for you to know what is working and what's not, you need to have a consistent process so you can get consistent results that are measurable. If your process is different all the time, you'll never be able to measure what variable is working and what is not. So this key to marketing is to have a process that is standardized so you can focus on your goal and not all the variables. Does that make sense? So the keys we talked about so far are focus on a specific and focused goal, have a standardized process that's measurable, and the third key is that you need to know how much your clients cost you from any marketing activity. If it's not measurable, then do not do it. Don't forget, your time is also your most valuable limited resource, and it needs to be factored into the equation. Shooting in the dark is not a marketing strategy. So the keys we've talked about so far are focusing on a specific and focused goal, having a standardized process that's measurable, and needing to know the cost of acquiring a client. So the second step of your marketing strategy is understanding your best clients we call your client persona. In the course Online Marketing Basics, we go into great depths to understand all about your ideal client and how it helps you attract more of them. So I'm going to email you a great cheat sheet to help you think about all the different qualities, interests, and motivations of your ideal client or client persona. So watch for that email. For today, here are three questions to ask yourself as you visualize your client persona. So number one, visualize your ideal client. As you develop a picture of him or her, what would they be like? Number two, what is your client persona's biggest issues that keep them up at night or that they think about or worry about all day? And number three, why do they want to be your client? What are the most common reasons your best clients want to be your client? So once you have your client persona firmly in your mind, we can more easily have a conversation with them. So step number three is creating your client conversations. Human to human connections are the heart and soul of your practice. So at the end of the day, you're really solving people's problems or issues and making their life better. Revenue is something that happens as a byproduct of an effective treatment and a positive experience. One of the best ways to have a conversation is telling stories. Telling your authentic story is a powerful technique for building relationships. It's a tried and tested concept that brings people together and keeps them engaged. Good stories give big voices to small businesses. That's why it's so important to take time 
to develop your authentic story and marketing message. Contrary to popular belief, brand storytelling is not about your company. It's about your clients and the value that they get when engaging with your service. There's no set formula for creating an authentic client conversation. It's more of an art form than a science. And the best way we found to develop a successful marketing message is to forget about marketing. I know this may seem counterintuitive, but stop trying to sell your service and instead focus on developing a close connection with your ideal client. Like you were having a real heart to heart with your most favorite client and answer the questions that they want to ask and care about most. You can't please everyone or sell to everyone and if you try you'll please no one. People relate to real people, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Most importantly, be yourself and have fun with it. So step four, building your marketing engine. After getting a thorough understanding of your ideal client, the next step is to build a consistent, predictable marketing engine. Here are the action steps to building a marketing engine. The first one is to create the technology infrastructure that will be the foundation for the process. Next, if your goal is to attract more clients, the first process you need to establish is a way of keeping track of them by creating a prospect and customer list. Once you have a list, you need to be able to access it from anywhere and from any device that you use. Then you can work on building your list. And as you build your list, you build your business. Your list is the foundation of the client attraction system and will become your biggest asset. Once you have a list, you need a way to communicate with them by using an email system. And you need a way for leads to be recorded into the list from your marketing activities, website, and Facebook page. Here's your client attraction system lead path. As leads flow through the client attraction system, strangers become paying clients on autopilot. As leads come in from marketing activities, the contact information gets recorded in your list and then an automated email series goes out to the leads and then leads turn into happy clients. In this system we use a lead capture system where lead contact information is captured for the marketing activities. A client relationship manager or CRM is where your client contact information is recorded and then stored in the cloud. And then we have an autoresponder email platform. So as leads are recorded in the CRM, emails automatically are sent out to them. And then we have something we call instant access. And this is where all the contact data and your photos are automatically backed up to the cloud and accessible by any device, any time. Once you've built your client attraction system, you need to add the messaging that you developed in step three. Once you have a good baseline marketing message, you are ready to test the system with very small numbers. This testing will result in a proof of concept that your marketing engine produces the results that have a profitable ROI or return on investment. That's the income is more than the cost of acquiring the client. Once you have a proof of concept, then you can do more of it. And if it's not profitable, stop doing it and back to the drawing board. Until you get this proof that it works on a small level, you're really just spinning your wheels and potentially wasting your time and money with unknown results, especially when you start trying to scale it. If it doesn't work on a small level, it's not going to work on a big level. So here's step number five, attracting more clients. Once you've understood your ideal clients and how you uniquely solve their issues, and have built the technology infrastructure that will be the foundation for the process, it's time to start building your practice by sending traffic to your client attraction system. For our purpose, traffic are the leads coming from your marketing activities. This is where most people concentrate all their attention on when it comes to marketing. So traffic really has two different sources, free versus paid traffic. And here's the myth and the truth. Free traffic includes visitors to your website or Facebook page who arrive organically, which really means just through word of mouth, referrals, 
social media publicity, viral videos, or any other source that is referring you business. Paid traffic includes the people that engage in your paid Facebook ads or posts or your AdWords listings on Google search results. A myth in online marketing is that free traffic is inherently better than paid traffic. This perspective is untrue. Both types of marketing require significant investment in terms of time and money. So in other words, free traffic is not really free. You still need to invest a significant time to learn how the systems work and executing the operations. While there are many options for free traffic, here are the key free traffic drivers. Public relations builds great relationships with journalists to gain visibility in media channels. Public relations connects with top bloggers in your industry to contribute content and thought leadership for you and your practice. Search Engine Optimization, or SEO. This is a strategy to improve your website's visibility in search engines and get you to the top of the page on Google searches. So, so prospective clients are searching for information online and you are the first responder to these questions. The limitations for SEO for most practitioners is that there is a significant time investment needed to become successful in SEO. There are over 200 different items that are factored into Google's algorithms and they are changing as many as 20 times per year. So this makes it a significant time investment and it's very, very technical. Social media. While there are many, many options, focus on the networks that best position your practice to reach your targeted audience. So find out where they visit and then go there. Blogging. Blogging is when you write articles to share thought leadership and your expertise in your industry. Your blog can help you become a recognized authority and trusted resource for your clients and your prospects. Video marketing is very popular now. That's when you create engaging videos to help explain your modality and service and then tell your story behind your brand. Branded videos can also provide your client with real entertainment value. Content marketing. This is where you create content relevant to your service or modality and house it on your website and then distribute it to other publications or channels like YouTube or other blogs or other websites and then hope that they make their way back to your website. Email lists. Sending out relevant information to prospects that have opted in to your marketing activities. While these different strategies all have positive aspects, and theoretically you could be doing all of them, what should a practitioner do? If your goal is to develop personal relationships that translate into paying clients, the most cost effective is email marketing. And we're going to talk more about that in a minute. Besides free traffic, there is paid traffic. Paid traffic is really Google Ads or Facebook Ads. And paid traffic is the most effective for scaling a successful marketing campaign and a necessary part of a consistently growing practice. The cost of the traffic really is irrelevant. What matters is that it's profitable. That is, it generates more revenue than it costs. Once a proof of concept is achieved, a paid advertising strategy is the next step to scaling the campaign and creating a consistent flow of happy clients. If your paid advertising strategy is working, your budget should not matter because every dollar you put in should result in more than a dollar in return. So if I told you that every dollar you give me, I give you two in return, how many dollars would you give me? So then it's only a matter of how many clients do you want to generate this month. You can start your ad spend low, and as it works, you scale it up to the level you desire. Facebook paid boosts and ads. Facebook ads and boosted posts are the best way to reach specific audiences that have specific interests and geographic locations. While a whole training should be dedicated to learning Facebook, a basic understanding is feasible with limited training and support. The key to successful Facebook advertising is finding the right combination of image, message, and audience. 
Once a successful image, message, and audience combination is achieved, it's relatively straightforward to duplicate it and then scale it using a very specific strategy that I can share with you. The mechanics of it now are much easier because there's a phone app that's easy to use and will show you daily analytics and options to duplicate ads with a very few clicks. The most important thing about Facebook ads is that it does change and it's important to monitor because the ROI can change dramatically so you need to make sure that it stays within the profitable range. And with Facebook you're constantly looking at duplicating profitable ads with low budgets and then comparing it to the ones that are similar. And then you stop the ones that have higher costs per client and add to the ones that are better, constantly optimizing. The biggest benefit for Facebook ads is cost effectiveness. Many practitioners can get a steady flow of quality leads for $20 to $40 a day and that are converting to clients worth a healthy multiple of that after they go through the email marketing. So Google AdWords, which is now called Google Ads. If you want to be at the top of the Google search page for specific keywords or phrases, AdWords or Google Ads is the way to go. This strategy is much better than SEO. Like Facebook advertising, mastering AdWords can be a full course on its own, and then some. But if you're a beginner, you can really be successful and not risk a lot of money if you start small and then learn as you go. AdWords and really everything you do in online marketing is a hands-on experience. The most important thing to know is to set a low budget and stick with it until you see a positive ROI. Then you can gradually scale it to the level that you desire. The key here is to start slow and get a keyword message combination that has a positive ROI and then be very targeted. And then don't be suckered into Google's endless attempts to add more keywords to a successful combination. One real nice thing about AdWords or Google Ads is that once you find a good combination, it's relatively stable and you don't need to manage it that closely. So it's basically going to run on autopilot. Also, there's a Google app, Google Ads Express, that's become much more user-friendly. This app for your phone lets you see the ads and the analytics. So next we're going to talk about converting prospects to clients consistently and predictably on autopilot. This is where email marketing comes in. Bringing visitors to your website or Facebook page just once isn't enough anymore. You need to keep them coming back and develop a relationship with them to improve your chances of having them as a client. Creating a one-on-one -on -one relationship, staying in touch, and establishing you as an authority is most effective with email marketing. For most people, the first thing they do in the morning is check their email. And when you send an email, you reach your audience in one of the most personalized ways possible. Our email inboxes are literally in the palm of your hands. And we're glued to email at work, after work, first thing in the morning, right before bed. And it's an understatement to say the least that email is a powerful marketing channel. The problem is that we are bombarded with spam. But even with all the junk out there, email marketing still has a huge ROI. Harvard Business Review did an analysis that discovered that the dollar earned per email was around $15.70 for sales generated in-store and online. While email can be very profitable, there are some keys to being successful. Personalization is the foundation of your email marketing strategy, and you need to rely on software automation so you can scale your one-on-one -on -one relationships. You need to focus on providing relevant information that matches where the prospect is on the purchase path and synchronize your email campaign with your client conversation across all your marketing assets like your website and your Facebook. Remember that your audience is reading your emails from a variety of devices but mostly from their phone. So test your email on your phone and make sure the format and the font are readable. So here's a traditional practitioner funnel. 
The three stages are building awareness about you and your service to new prospects so they consider you, then engaging the prospects that are already aware of you so they choose you if you're ready, and then performing the treatment. And then once the treatment is performed, most of the time, the practitioner loses contact with the client. What I'd like you to consider is what I call the circle of prosperity. With the client attraction system, you can create a continuous flow of activity that produces a consistent flow of clients. You still have some of the same stages, but it's more of a continuous relationship. So as the, the initial contact is made, the first step is to educate the prospect about solving their pain. And then you can engage with them and engage the prospect to show that you're uniquely qualified to solve their pain. And then step three is where the prospect becomes a client and you perform the treatment. But it doesn't end there. So step four is building relationships. And this is where you follow up after the treatment and stay in touch with relevant information that builds rapport. And you do this by using your email marketing platform. And then you can start all over educating, engaging, and treating your clients for more of a continuous flow of activity that produces a continuous flow of clients. So by now you're probably asking, what is a client attraction system anyhow? Before we get into that, I want to assure you that this may seem a little overwhelming right now. And I presented a lot of options because I wanted to show you what's possible. But the basic client attraction system will focus on your best option first, and that's setting up a foundation of your list and emailing to your list. All the other marketing activities can come later, if at all. Most practitioners can build a very successful and simple business with a basic system I'm going to explain to you next. And if it seems overwhelming right now, and maybe beyond your skills, don't worry, that's why I'm here. We found that a step-by-step -step approach to building the system is very doable, even for the most tech-challenged. So I just want to reassure you and tell you to stick around because really, you can do this and I will help. So what's included in the client attraction system? The basic client attraction system includes three modules. And the basic system is built on the Google Marketing Platforms applications. The Client Relationship Manager, or CRM, includes Google Gmail and Google Contacts. We then take Gmail and we add on GMAS, which produces a mail merge capability. So you can do mass mailings to all of your contacts on an automated basis. List Builder includes an automated email response using Zapier for automation and Google Sheets for recording the, the clients and then GMAS for sending them out. And we use Google Photos to store and back up all your photos. We have this thing called Instant Access, and it uses Google Drive, and it backs up and syncs all of your data, and it automatically backs up all your files and makes them accessible anywhere, anytime, in any device. This is a really cool feature that I started doing and absolutely love it. The CRM in the first module will soon become your most valuable asset because it will contain your list of all your current clients and your prospective clients in what we call your tribe. The second module includes the lead capture process that takes your prospect contact information from your website, Facebook business page, or any other marketing activity and records them into your list. This module also includes easy to learn step-by-step -step instructions for your email platform and we build you four email templates so you can develop a relationship with your tribe. This is the science part. So if you're tech challenged, you can think of me as your bridge to get you over these areas where you need help. The next section is more like art as it needs to reflect you, your service, and the authentic value you uniquely bring to the market. The third section is the content you put in the emails Facebook ads and copy on your website. For this section, the client attraction system has a framework that helps you find your voice and tell your story in your own authentic way. 
No boilerplate here. We work together to create relevant and educational information that will build trust and a rapport that will establish you as an authority in your field. This is what we call your client conversation and we'll take total strangers to paying clients without being all salesy and high pressure. Creating your client conversation is the most important step because without the right messaging all the marketing infrastructure will go nowhere. It would be like building a big engine for a plane that can't fly. This is the part that everyone misses. Most people are trying to sell you the latest tricks, tactics, and strategies without getting the messaging right. So probably the biggest benefit we offer is helping the people that consider themselves technology or marketing challenged. We help even the most challenged because we care about getting your results. Our clients love us because we care about you and your results. Here's what Renee Burchell said, John and Sherry truly care about your success. Our course creates an environment that you feel safe asking any questions that you need help on. And the course is an eight week live webinar format that is fun and a great way to learn. It's on the same platform that we're on right now. Each week we have about an hour of learning and we take a little of each module per week so it doesn't get overwhelming and you take it one step at a time. Then at the end of each session we have an hour of questions and answers so you really get the help you need. We try to keep the enrollment down so it can be a real personal experience and you get results. We've taken people that are really technologically challenged and marketing challenged and given them the foundation to be successful. In fact, I just had Veronica post in our group. I recommend this to anyone. What great training and knowledge. Sherry, John, and Samantha have been awesome. Thank you for the great classes. They make you feel like part of the family. Best thing I ever did. We get so many people telling us that they feel like part of the family. It's crazy. The eight week course online marketing basics includes step by step instructions on installing and setting up free apps from the Google marketing platform, including Gmail with GMAS add on for mail merging and mass mailing. We use Google Sheets as the contact list and Google contact customer relationship manager or the CRM and we use zap automation linking your Facebook business page and your website lead capture process and we use zap to automate the email response when a prospect enters their contact information in your lead capture system and we have this thing called instant access which includes syncing your Google Gmail contacts and photos across all your devices and automatically backs up all your data and your photos to the Google Cloud. No matter where you are or what device you're on, you have access to all your contact information. Plus one year access to all the training lessons, bonus videos, and business resources in our DPA portal that you can access anytime, anywhere, and as often as you want plus a one-year access to our closed Facebook DPA community of like-minded, passionate practitioners. And this has probably been one of the biggest benefits that we see people absolutely loving. So it doesn't matter if you have no idea what those apps are or how to use them. We teach you all about them and how to install them and how to use them so that it's easy. And sure, you can set this all up on your own, I've basically given you all the stuff that's included, but we have a proven system and we're going to show you all the shortcuts and step by step how you can do this so you can get set up and working so much faster. So if you have any doubts, believe me, you can do this and we will help. So if you're ready to start online marketing, you get all this for just $9.95 as a one-time payment or four monthly payments of $2.75. So that's what I've got for you today. I know I've presented a lot of information today and it may seem a little overwhelming. But once you've laid the foundation of a system that keeps working even when you're not, 
You'll be amazed at how much simpler your business and your life will become. Also, having access to all your client records no matter where you are, no matter what device you're using, it takes a lot of hassle out of managing your practice. And imagine prospects automatically receiving four great emails from you without ever having to do a thing. I hope you can see the possibilities and are as excited about it as much as I am. I really love helping people set up this system and seeing the growth they, they, that they achieve and the freedom that it gives them. And now you have that opportunity too. To help you make a good decision, I'm going to offer you a 20% savings coupon, and but it's only good for the next 24 hours. Just enter the coupon code 20% for 24 in the secure checkout cart. That brings the one-time payment down to $7.96 and the monthly payment to $220. That's a great deal. So enter 20% for 24 in the secure checkout cart and enroll today. So I hope saving 200 bucks will help you make a good decision for your future and join us on a course that will really help you grow. I'm going to stick around now and answer any questions you have. Just put them in the chat box and I'll be happy to answer them. If you still have questions and would like a more one-on-one -on -one consultation, you can go to attractalotmoreclients.com. That's attractalotmoreclients.com. Clever name, huh? Sign up for the free ebook, fill out the assessment form, and you can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one consultation with me personally. I'm always amazed at the great things that come out of those consultations. All right. What did you guys think of that? So I did notice one thing, one big glaring error, in that the coupon code is SAVE20% for 24. That's save 20% for 24. doesn't matter if you put capitals in there or not. But um, so what did you guys think about that? Um, it's hard for me to go back to the chat. I got to go back and forth. The, the, uh, the oh, coupon not working. It's save 20% for 24. Um, sorry about that. I, I uh, forgot to save on the, uh, on the slide. Um, it says statement anyway. Um, so anyway, when um, so TJ, if you have problems with that, just let us know. We'll uh, we'll get you signed up and uh, and get you the discount too. So um, the one thing I didn't tell you about our story when we were hiking about hiking around the uh, the mountains was it's great to do one step at a time. But we also found that if you have a great guide, it makes all the difference. Um, we were on a self-guided thing, but we actually had some really great. Yeah, there you go, Sherry. Thanks for putting up that save 20% for 24. And it doesn't matter if you caps or not, no caps. But um, so uh, so having a guide really makes a big difference, especially uh, getting over that feeling of, of uncomfortableness and everything. So um, I've always thought of myself more as a guide than a, uh, than a consultant or, or whatever. So I hope I, I've given you enough information where um, you would feel comfortable with me as, as your guide, guiding you through this. Um, that, and um, that's really what we do that and, and adds the most. And we were talking about this with my wife, Sherry. She was talking about, you know, with the discount, it's eight hundred dollars, and for eight weeks, it's really like a hundred dollars a week to have someone really guide you through setting up a system that is going to work in your business really for you know for a long, long time, and be able to provide a lot of value for you and really help you. Um, first off, it's so much easier, and secondly, you can you will not believe how much better your business operates when you have a list and that you're marketing to that list. And then really you're just focusing in on putting those clients and prospects into your list and building your list. And um, all the marketing, you know, um, you know, all the marketing noise that you hear out there about, oh, you should be doing this, you should be doing that, you should be doing this. You can just really just forget about that because you have your list and you're adding to your list and, um, 
you know, pick one of the big traffic strategies. We like Facebook, um, AdWords works good too, but, um, you know, we help you to deliver the, the traffic system that works the best for you. And then you're just building your list. So, um, you know, it's, in, in, uh, and it's funny because um, as I was writing this up and everything, I got that post from Veronica. And then Veronica is actually on the web, the webinar with this. So um, her and her husband, Mark, are out of California. And um, they just, they're on our other course uh, for PMF, getting certified for PMF. And um, they've been so much fun to, to work with and stuff. And, you know, the, so I should let you know the results of the poll. Um, seventy-five percent of you say that you are technology challenged, and uh, so twenty-five percent are not, and seventy-five percent are. Um, really, that's 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 pretty significant, and um, I hope I have um, really showed you guys, you know, an overview of what online marketing is all about, and shown you that you know what the possibilities can be. And um, if, if you um, want to take this to the next level, um, I hope I've shown that I can be your guide and um, really get you there. Um, really our, our um, <laughs> and she's glad to be part of the Golas family. And that really is part of it. That's like a big part of it is that people want to become part of a community. And you know, there's, there's right now there's so many challenges out there, especially for solo practitioners you know, you're, you're off on your own and, you know, when you get stuck on something, where do you go? What do you do? And um, there's there's always Google, you know, there's tremendous information on Google, but sometimes people get stuck. And, and, and we have found that no matter how much you Google, after you've done something a while, you learn there are shortcuts. You learn that there are dead ends that, that people will take you down and that you don't want to go down. And um, you also want to have people that are encouraging you and helping you along. And and um, and being part of a community really is is uh, is a big thing. Um, it's funny because we we you you might catch on that we say the kind of one of the things I say a lot is how you can do it and and we can help and. Um, thanks, TJ. Um, we're looking forward to, to working with you too. And, uh, but the reason why we say you can do it is because I'll take you back to the, the, the time when my boys were, um, in Little League and we went to like 53 Little League games in one, one season, one time. And, and it was literally like we had two boys and they were in two different Little Leagues and we would go from one to the next and, you know, Monday and Wednesday one and Tuesday and Thursday and the other and Saturday for both of them. And so we were going to all kinds of Little League games. And um, so we started this little cheer, like at the end of the, you know, the ninth inning, we're down by a couple of runs and our kids are coming up. And um, we started this little cheer and we just started saying, you can do it. You can do it. And um, it's just amazing that how many times we would say that and they actually would do it. So we just found that there was so much power in us telling you that you can do it. So us saying you can do it. We say that to you because we really believe that you can do it and we can help you. And if we're there helping you, I know we can do it. So um, I just want to say that to you. If you are have an intention of getting your business online, um, Sherry is saying, you can do it. We can say this like a little, you can do it. You can do it. And uh, so if you have an intention of getting your business online, um, we'll help you get over that feeling of uncomfortableness, that tech challenge. And pretty soon at the end of the eight weeks, you're going to be going, you know, I can do it. And, uh, and, and once you build a great system, really, the, you know, the, the, it's so much easier keeping it going than it is getting it going. So you just build it and then it keeps on going. And um, there's nothing better than having uh, prospects rolling in while you're sleeping or on vacation or taking your son out to Colorado. So. 
All right, so I've been talking a lot. Are you guys, do you guys have some questions for me? Um, if there's uh, any questions that you want and you know that, that you're struggling with right now, um, if not, I hope you are um, able to click on to the link and sign up for our course that starts on the 27th. Um, and remember, it's save 20% for 24. And uh, if you get off the link, um, the, the way to get back on it is uh, the URL marketyourpracticeonline.com. So that's marketyourpracticeonline.com. And um, just put in save 20% for 24. The reason why I do it for 24 hours is because I found that people love to procrastinate. And, and uh, if you give them 24 hours, that's enough time to hopefully get some money together. And um, we've got a great payment option plan, a four payment option. And that saving 20% is also good for that. So it, it takes the 275 for four months down to 220 a month. And you just make your first payment um, now, and then every month um, um, the credit card gets billed for for two twenty. So either payment plan, all all front, um, one time payment, or four monthly payments, and we've got a thirty day money back guarantee. So I mean, you could practically take the whole course and or take half the course of it, and uh, say you want your money back, and and and. And have no no investment in it, no risk at all. You know, we're completely comfortable with taking that risk and letting you get in and try it. So, you know, we hope that uh, that you've um, you like what you've seen, and if you love this part, if you really like the uh, the, the introduction part, um, the course really is going to be um, so much better. We, we're really going to take you. It is step by step into um, how to get this done and um, how to build a system for your business and and get you online marketing. So, um, anybody else have some questions? Um, if you've got some questions, just put them in the chat box. We'll stay around for another couple of minutes. I think I've talked my way out of it. I'm glad that my my wife my wife is at home because our internet is not strong enough to have two of us sitting on there. This uh, webinar is a big internet hog and uh, takes up a lot of bandwidth. So she's staying she's staying home nice nice and warm probably uh, in her in her little office and um, I'm at my daughter's Samantha's who also helps us with the business and does a lot of the customer support and uh, if you take a course with this you'll you'll get to know Samantha too and uh, but she's down in Florida right now showing her horses and I'm at her house who, who has a great internet connection so thanks a lot TJ I'm looking forward to it um, and anybody else got some questions don't be shy just go ahead and put your put them in a chat box. If you do want to email me, um, my email is info at druglesspracticianeracademy.com. And if you want, if you still have some questions and you want to uh, have more of a private consultation, a 30-minute private consultation, just go to attract a lot more clients.com and uh, that will take you to a, a, a little uh, landing page. You pull, do we have an assessment? You just answer some basic questions so we can get an understanding of, of um, where you are and then a scheduling, um, a scheduling app that you can set your time and um, then we do meet and I'll, I'll either call you or do a zoom meeting and um, and we can talk more specifically uh, about your questions. Um, it's just, we've we've always I've always been amazed at how great things uh, come out of that meeting, those meetings. And um, for me, they're they're a lot of fun because again, I I just love talking about marketing. So so I think we're going to wrap this thing up here at one hour. And thank you all very much for coming. 
and um, sign on. Remember again, save 20% for 24, and that's at marketyourpracticeonline.com. Marketyourpracticeonline.com. I just got that URL. I thought that was kind of kind of uh, nifty there. Um, so thank you very much for, for uh, showing up and stay until the end and uh, wish you all the best and um, look forward to, to um, helping you out on our course online marketing basics that starts the, the 27th at uh, seven o'clock to nine o'clock at night. So um, thanks a lot. Thanks, Anna Maria. Anna Maria has been a long time friend. A lot of friends on here, a lot of new people too. So looking forward to meeting all of you. Thanks a lot. Have a great one.